Fantastic. Good job. That feels good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. I'm Cooter Shooter. And we're here to talk to you about this. It's a semi-custom slingshot made by Metro Grade Goods, designed by the same guy behind Skin Solutions. He's who makes this great pocket sheath that I use absolutely every day. I've done a review of it, and I'll put a link in the video description below. Eric Gow makes these slingshots up in Canada. This one in particular is designed for shooting BBs, which makes it extra safe and extra fun for us to shoot. And that's why the Pygmy Marmoset by Metrograde is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Pygmy Marmoset is a semi-custom slingshot made by Metro Grey Goods of Canada. Its body is formed with six layers of laser-cut Baltic burst plywood, polished and finished with a clear lacquer. Everything about the Pygmy Marmoset is scaled down to match the BB projectiles it was made for. The body is 2.5 inches wide, 3 inches tall, and 3 quarters inch thick with a 1 and a quarter inch fork gap. 1 8 inch amber tubing provides the power with 2040 tubing sleeves serving as strain relief. These sleeves also protect the power tubes from the 1024 set screw anchors. The pouch is laser cut kangaroo leather which is tough yet very supple. This means that the shooter can get a very good feel of the BB in the pouch as well as a very clean release, both of which contribute to the Pygmy Marmoset's shocking accuracy. The Pygmy Marmoset may be small, but it does pack some power. Targets like empty water bottles are perfect for this slingshot, but eye protection is a must regardless of target choice because steel BBs do tend to bounce straight back if they hit anything rigid. Though the light draw weight makes it a great slingshot for kids, this is not a toy. The Pygmy Marmoset easily punches BBs right through tough cardboard and will even dent drywall and wood trim. Don't ask me how I know this. The Pygmy Marmoset can be aimed conventionally, but the best way we've found is to hold it sideways, which is actually a much more natural position for your wrist. Draw the pouch all the way back and find a consistent point of anchor on your face, and you'll find yourself shooting very accurately with just a short bit of practice. Okay, so I want you to look at the slingshot. Make sure you're holding it flat because you're you, you're aiming it down towards the ground again, like I was telling I'm you. I'm aiming okay? it like this, not like... No, you're doing that when you're not pulling it back, but as soon as you start focusing on the target, you're starting to tilt it down again, okay? Okay, take your time. There you go. See that? Yes. See the difference? Mm -hmm. That's what it was. You just need to hold that flat towards the target and it's much easier. Let's do that again. Okay. Hit it. Yay! Good job. Good shooter what do you got there a pygmy marmoset slingshot and what's special about that slingshot it is a bb slingshot and who makes it metro grade so how do you use it well you put a bb in that hole there and then to pinch this like that and Shoot it like that. So that's pretty interesting. You're holding it sideways. Why is that? Because the person at Metrograde told us to shoot this gangster style. <laughs> and we tried it the other way, didn't we? Yeah, like this. That did not work so well in aiming. It was so hard. So how do you like the way that it's shaped? Because it's a different shape than a lot of slingshots. Not in there, but where you grab it. Yeah. Most slingshots have like this little stick here which you grab, but I like this better because you there's this little slit for your fingers right here. 
then the rest of the fingers can grab onto here pretty easily. And what kind of targets do you use? Water bottles, boxes, milk cartons. That's filled with BBs. Why is it filled with BBs? For weight, it was such a windy day. And it was also, so we didn't have, it was easier to set up. Where can you shoot it? Um, outdoors, on your front porch. A lot of different places, which makes it pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a mobile thing. So you're really glad that you have a pygmy, pygmy marmoset slingshot? Yeah, it's really cool. And do you think that it would be a, a fun thing for people to buy their kids or even for themselves? Yeah, it would be really fun. And uh, so you give it a thumbs up, right? Right. Good job. Thank you. This was really cool. I think so. There's a challenge though, and that it is a semi-custom slingshot, as are all of the Metro Great slingshots. Eric Al keeps coming up with these new designs, and he builds them in batches by hand. Even, even though he builds them by hand, this was $45, which is an incredible bargain for what you're getting. But that also means that when he sells out of a design, he typically moves on to a new design that's coming out of his head. And he, so you don't you're not necessarily going to be able to buy exactly the Pygmy Marmoset. But he always has something that's like it, small, appropriate for shooting with BBs. He has bigger, more powerful slingshots. He also creates some fantastic works of art with some really exotic woods that are going to cost more because of the woods involved and the amount of time that he's obviously putting into making them. But if you want to learn more about Metro Grade Goods and the great slingshots they make, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. It'll really help me out. Be sure to click over here if you want to help the channel even more to see how you can contribute to my Patreon campaign. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool things like this Pygmy Marmoset. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.